welcome to Have Yarn Creations. I'm Erin. It's August 29th, 2019. And I am so excited. I cannot believe that I have, I think, 94 subscribers at the, as of this moment. I'm ecstatic. I'm over the moon. I can't believe that um, you know, people like what I'm doing. So this is really cool. I want to apologize for not having um, anything out this past week. Um, my son last week, the end of the week, um, I was applying for him for SSI. For those of you who don't know, that's a social security disability. He's 17 and you want to try and get that done uh, before he turns 18 so that he just automatically rolls over as an adult. So I'm trying to, trying to get that done. Um, and I had to look up all of his medical records. I had to find a whole bunch of stuff. And as you can imagine, my son is extremely disabled, so there's lots of medical records and stuff to try and, and bring up for that case. Um, and then he had some testing done in the past couple of days, so I haven't had a lot of time to do any videos. But I wanted to say thank you for sticking with me, <laughs> and there'll be more to come. Uh, so first of all, let's talk about some yarn and stuff. I'm just so excited. So first of all, I have finished my virus shawl. Now this is a um, pattern, the tutorial that I followed was by Fiber Spider Crochet. Um, a link to his channel is below and I will attempt to put a link to the actual um, shawl pattern tutorial. Um, it is made with Mandela's Gnome which I bought about a year and a half ago, and it's good sized. I made it. So I'm a kind of a big girl, so you can imagine, so maybe you can get a good thing. It covers almost down to my elbows, and it wraps around very nicely. And it's, now I used an, I know that the Mandela, it's 100% acrylic, it's machine wash and dry, it's 5.3 ounces, 590 yards, and it's a recommended size H hook or five knit, uh, five knitting needles, size five. Um, I used the I hook because I only had the one cake and I wanted to maximize the um, the size of it and it make it lacy and stuff. And I think it did a really good job. And it's really soft because when you use a slightly larger hook, um, it allows those fibers in, especially acrylic fibers, to move. And makes them less scratchy um, because they're not as as bound and so it I think it turned out great now my son's nurse was showing me something now, she is from Wisconsin originally and she was telling me that this is how I that they can wear these like this instead of a shawl it would be a scarf to wear in the winter. And it's lacy enough to wear in the summer as a shawl, but you can wear it as a scarf in the winter or, you know, turn it sideways and really have some fun with it. So anyway, I just, I was really excited. I love it. I think it's great. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because I live near Memphis and it doesn't get real cold here in the winter, but I think somebody could use it. So next I have is my next completed object. So she also, getting back to my nurse, my son's nurse, uh, wears her hair all up in a bun. So because she's trying to be professional as a nurse. And so she asked me if I'd ever made a bun cover and I'm like, no. So I'm looking up, you know, text, uh, not looking up, but I'm, I'm searching and looking for tutorials and, and stuff on bun covers because I'd never made one and I wanted to know and sure enough I found some but I also found out some other information and so <laughs> those of you who don't know me I am a big Christmas movie fan and my favorite all-time Christmas movie is White Christmas with Bing Crosby and Danny Kaye and um, Rosemary Clooney, and I'm sorry, I can't remember the lovely dancer that plays the other sister. Um, so my mind's just going crazy with all these, uh, with all the subscribers and stuff. I'm so excited. So anyway, um, that's my one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies. Um, I have other movies that I love, but I love that one. And there's a scene in the movie where 
Danny Kay and um, Bing Crosby have dressed up as in the girls' costumes a little bit and uh, impersonated them and, so that the girls could get away. And they're on the train. And so the guys are now looking for the tickets. And long story short, Bing Crosby turns to Danny Kay and says, what did you do? Leave that in your snood? And I was gone, what in the world is a snood? And now I know. It's a bun cover. I was, I thought that's hilarious. I, all this time I was kind of wondering, well, I wonder what a snood is. Now I know it's a bun cover. So anyway, I uh, looked up several and there was a, a lovely woman and I will put a link below for her for a, it's a flower bun cover and um, I can't remember her name. Anyway, she's, uh, it's a flower bun cover and I adapted it a little bit here. So this is it. And I made it this way because my niece, it stretches real good. My niece is taking dance lessons and she loves purple and pink. So this is, it's a purple flower. Now hers in the original tutorial is all one color. And so, and you do these chains in between the different petals. If you can see the chains that you do in between the petals. And so these are purple, so I felt like I wanted to make that flower pop. And so I did single crochets around in the pink. And so then the, I make the netting in the pink. And that's for my niece, because she likes pink and purple. And so anyway, I'm gonna get this in the mail off to her. But it was a lot of fun. This is done in Red Heart Super Saver, 100% acrylic, of course, four weight. Um, the purple is lavender. The yellow is bright yellow, and the pink is actually uh, Karen Pound, One Pounder um, in the pink. So that was, that's really fun. So then after I made that, and I explained to my husband, he thought it was funny too, making this nude. So um, I was telling him, I said, maybe I can come up with a make, way to make a pumpkin, because her mother and father love Halloween. So I thought maybe I could make a pumpkin and then do the netting in black. And um, he said, oh, well, he goes, it's kind of like spider web. He says, you need to make it a spider. So those of you who know me, challenge given, challenge accepted. So I created a spider snood. So let's see if you can see it here. So here, it's all in black, so it's going to make it a little difficult. I'm going to put my hand in it so you can see the mesh and the netting. That gives it that spider web. And so you can see there's the eight legs that are sticking out. And down here is the head. And it's not really quite finished, to be honest. I want to put two little pony beads, white pony beads in for the eyes. So it'll really pop. And then I've got to weave in my ends. But I did it. Um, if anyone would like to have uh, the uh, pattern for this, let me know in the comments and I will get your email and I will send you a pattern for it. But anyway, so I came up with it and I think it's a funny, it's a spider snood. Anyway, <laughs> I think it's hilarious. So anyway, so now for my unfinished uh, objects, I, in my first tutorial, well not first tutorial, oh, I haven't done a tutorial yet. I want to do one. Um, my first yarn chat, uh, I talked about a textured blanket and it's that I was working on and I'm calling it for love of texture because I love textured blankets. So I had started it out and it's upside down. Hang on a second. Okay, there you go. And you can see in the center that I did a textured heart and then I did another pattern around the edge. I did white and then I did another pattern around the edge. And so nobody, I asked for suggestions, but nobody gave them. So if anybody has suggestions for a new texture, I need a new texture for my next set. So um, I do, I'm doing a, this is Karen one pound white. And then the colored sections that I'm doing, the textured sections are in da -da -da -da, Karen Big Cakes. I bought this on sale, oh gosh, over a year ago. And this is uh, 10.5 ounces uh, or 
300 grams. It's approximately 603 yards, 100% acrylic. It is a size four. It is uh, five uh, U.S. Hook, needles or five hook. And so anyway, and the colorway is uh, honey glazed. And so um, I'm really liking this. It's kind of fun. And so, but since nobody gave me a texture last time, I went with the basket weave. And you can see that right there. And then just doing double crochets, two rows of double crochets in between each set of textures. So I'd really like to have another texture if somebody, and like I said before, challenge given, challenge accepted. I like a challenge. I like to have something fun and creative. It, it gives me a sense of accomplishment to that. Yes, I did that. So um, <laughs> uh, I would love to have a new texture. And if you uh, will submit that, just give me in the comments below. I'd be really excited. Um, for my next unfinished object, I am working on a new pattern. It's a variation of the virus pattern. I'm calling it a textured virus and I'm doing it as a Christmas blanket. Uh, I am in the middle. I've I've written and out the pattern a little bit. Uh, I've almost got it finished and I, this is hopefully going to be my first tutorial. So um, I hope you like it. And so this is it. As you can see, I had to make some adjustments in the virus pattern in order to do it, but um, giving it a little bit of pop and um, some texture. And I hope that you guys like it and hopefully somebody will be interested in the pattern. So um, that's all of my unfinished objects and finished objects. I have no new acquisitions. As you know, I'm trying not to um, purchase anything because we're in some financial straits right now. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about, because I'm so excited about all the, the um, new subscribers, I wanted to talk about something that I truly appreciate with the uh, crochet and yarn fiber community. I think it's fabulous that we support each other and we boost each other up and we we help each other. <laughs> it is so refreshing to have in this day and age that people are trying to help each other. And I got a text message, well, through Messenger, from a subscriber who um, is also a... I, I'm going to say she's a friend because she's... I don't know her very well, but I'm getting to know her. Um, we have some connections, people who know people kind of thing. And um, she texted me and or sent me a message and asked me um, what kind of uh, yarn would I suggest for a particular project. And, and I told her what I would use. And now she's a knitter, so she's not a crocheter. But, you know, yarn is yarn. And... I think it's fabulous that we can we can try and help each other. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been so kind and subscribed. And you don't know how it has cheered me in these these days that have been a trial. And thank you very much. I can't say it enough. So this concludes this episode before I start crying. <laughs> and you have a wonderful day. And remember, if you have yarn, be creative. <laughs>